now I'm here and I'm thinking this still has no power to it. It has literally has no power. It has enough for me to drive around, but I can't even get it up to speed. I can't even get it out of second gear, which is still struggling in second gear. So what I'm thinking next, I now have the diesel pump before to get it, keep it running. I had to keep the idle up the whole way. Like I had to have the idle adjuster, which is down here. I have it in almost the whole way up. So when I take this apart, and I take the cover off, and I'll show you guys here, I'll take the cover off, but the, there's a lever in there, just like a carburetor that comes up, and it, it puts out the fuel level out to the injectors. So inside here, I'll open this up here in a minute or whatever, but I'll come back to this. But right now, it's maxed out, so the amount of travel in the throttle is about that far, and it's already maxed out, where it should be maybe about this far and travel in that little arm it's actually sear i'll take out this let me take the cover off right here and i'll we'll take a look see and i'll show you okay so i only had one bolt holding this cover plate on so we'll show you here take this off and down inside here is the governor plate down here we got the governor spring and maybe i'll show you a little picture of that but the governor spring and here's our basically it's the butterfly of just the same as like on a carburetor but it's for a diesel so it should be like down here like this and then as you give it gas it goes up and gives it more gas as it goes up and then it goes down and then you know and so on so the way i have it set right now it's almost fully up the whole way and when i give it floor it and give it gas it goes about that much and that's it we're maxed out right there like i'm pushing up on the top of it and we're maxed out so right here is where it idles and right here is where it is that's how all the travel we have right now in my throttle uh in my gas pedal so it should be sitting down like this so when i opened this up and looked at it after we did the timing marks that did the timing here i started opening this up and i was wondering if the governor is in the right place so i posted to the Land Rover series group on Facebook. And the guy said, yeah, that's right. We're, at, we're in a good position for where this is. Let me see, I don't think you'll be able to see it. You gotta kinda angle way over. There, see that little arm right here? If you can see that in my finger. It connects to this spring and then this spring connects to this plate. So you can adjust where your um, governor kicks in. It's your RPMs or whatever. So. Right now it's sitting at the right position. So the, the position would be in the middle hole here and the bottom hole in this arm here or whatever, this piece, it connects to your actual throttle right here where my thumb is. It moves it up and down. And then that moves this arm up and down here and it has the governor attached to it. So back to my point, it's, it's sorry for babbling on there. So my point is, we only have a little bit of travel so i'm thinking there's something else going on not just the timing of the pump itself but i'm thinking that well i have the pump off the truck checking the the drive gear i thought i'd check it out make sure this filter here this here's where the inlet comes in so i checked the filter i took that apart it has a bunch of little pieces they go all around, they go together to stack up inside of here that go into here for your fuel pressure when it comes in. It has a bunch of different, it, it, there's a lot of uh, videos on there about this and how it goes together. So after taking it apart, the filter looked pretty clean. So I think we're good on the filter aspect of it. You can see it there. It's pretty good and clean. There's only a couple little specks of dirt on it, so I don't think that was our culprit on getting the fuel not to go in. So that piece is good. So I'm going to clean that up and put that back together into here. So while I'm here... There's a guys on YouTube. It's called Diesel Brothers Laboratory. And they kind of, they always are rebuilding these pumps all together. And they're showing you different tricks here and there and ever to do things. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to adjust the mixture. So this comes in, it works with plungers. As this is spinning like a distributor, it plunges in and squirts fuel out of the fuel lines. 
out of the sides right here, out of these to your pump. So there's a little uh, spinning adjustment in there and it adjusts how far the, the plungers open up. And if they open up further, they push in more fuel into your injectors. If they're closer together, then they squish or push out less fuel. So we're going to take a closer look at this right here or whatever. So what you need to adjust it is an 8 millimeter, which is small. You need a smaller one to get inside there. And inside here, there, let me adjust and I'll come back. So here's our pump here. And this is the, the timing area, which is up inside here. You can kind of see up inside a little bit, but you can see these bolts right here. See the one right here? This one, and you turn it 180 degrees, and here's your other one right here. So what you do is you take your eight millimeter wrench and you get up in here at an angle like this, and you'll loosen these bolts up. You don't want to take them out, just loosen them up a little bit. So then that moves your plate right here and then I'll show you what you're adjusting. So you would just loosen up those two. They're gonna be kind of hard to adjust and move, but what you're doing is there's a the gap right here that's right by the timing mark. All right, well, let me interrupt myself while I'm talking about the, the adjusting of the mixture. So what we have is the, I don't know if it's a diaphragm or part of the pump system or whatever, but it holds the plungers like this. Okay, so what we got here, this is the, what we're kind of looking at. It's got a little cutout here and it's got the two bolts here and there or whatever. So what I'm trying to do is adjust the plate. So there's a plate inside there that pushes these two plungers, okay? And as this goes around to each injector and it spins inside there, that's this piece here, it's spinning and it has a little cutout here and it has two plungers. So the plungers, if they're further away, they're gonna push more. If they're closer together, you'll get less fuel coming out of this that goes to each injector. So as this is spinning around, it's it's pushing in and out, in and out, in and out like this. So, so when you're looking inside here, you have this little cutout, which I'm trying to show in the video, which I'm not doing that great of a job with it. <laughs> so when you're looking at it, you're going to be looking at it on the truck and it's going to be upside down. So the best way to look at it is the, the area of rotation. This is the way it's going to rotate. You'll see the arrow on the side of your pump. So what you have is you'll see there's a little cutout in the plate that holds these plungers in, in position. So if you have it over here on this side, towards the rotation side, you'll get less fuel coming out of the injectors. So if you have this little cutout that's in that, that holder, goes to this side, you're gonna get more fuel coming out of the plungers. So you move it to this side, or you move it to this side, you get less and more. And then you put it in the middle, you get just about the middle of the amount of fuel that's gonna come out. So in the adjustment, as I'm messing around, I'm going to take it to the more side, and now I'm probably going to take it to the less side, but I'm not sure if I filmed the less side. So, so this kind of explains what's going on, what I'm trying to show in that little cutout right here. So it's easier to see whenever you're face-to-face -face with it, but really all you're doing is just loosening these two bolts, make slide in this with your screwdriver for less or more fuel, Go turn it again and snug these down, back down tight on your in your pump, and you'll be your pump will be set. But remember, unless you have the accurate tools, you don't know how much is coming out. These are going to be coming out. So I'm messing with this, but I know my original setting was in the middle. So as I'm messing around with this, get more and less or whatever. I at the end result, I end up putting it right into the middle. But back to me. Sorry for babbling so long, but this is kind of, I wanted to put a little bit more explanation into it. So back to me fiddle faddling around with the pump. Okay, so we're going to adjust it right now. I thought these bolts were tight, but they're actually already hand loose. I never really snugged them up, so let's take a look. Okay, so I loosened both the bolts, just to loosen them a little bit. So now we come down here. You can see now I moved it to the other side here. So now you can see, 
See how it just slides a little bit? So you just slide that plate back and forth. And from what I'm guessing and that I've been seeing in the videos, if it's the opposite of the rotation, and you put it, the if you if you turn this the opposite of the rotation, so it would be this way down or whatever. So it looks like that would be max fuel right there. You're getting your maximum amount of fuel that's going to come out of the pump. So if you go and turn it this way, then you're at the minimum. And whenever I took this first apart, it was actually sitting right here in the middle, about right here. So this little adjustment can change quite a bit or whatever just by doing a little movement here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to what I think is the max, which would be the opposite of rotation. You see the rotation? So I'm going to adjust this to the opposite side of the rotation. And you can actually, you can't even, you can't push it any further than this, this cutout right here. It actually stops. And if you go the other way, yeah, it stops too going the other way. So there's only adjustment going to this side or this side of the cutout. So I'm going to move it over this way to the max, which I'm thinking is the max, so don't quote me on this, but it looks like all the other, looks like on the videos that they're going the opposite of rotation to get to the max setting. So that'll be something we'll see what happens. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna know any of these settings are gonna work until I actually hook it up to the truck. So we'll give her a try and see what happens. What I did to tighten up the, the bolts on the inside is I actually put it in the vise, just snugged it up inside the vise. And then I can get right down, I can reach the bolts real easy. And then just kind of spin her around. And you can go and get the bolt on the other side, right inside there. Now that's all snugged down and we're at the max setting of the pump right now. So I think we're good on that. So I'm going to leave it as that. And I'm going to work on getting the, the feed line back inside with all the filters. So I got this all back together. put the cover plate back on. I got the, the priming or pump type, the inlet pumped on or whatever. So that's all snugged down and that's Next good. Next thing I'm going to do is put my gasket on. And then I'm going to go in and install the pump next. All right, so we got our keyway down there, and our pump also has a keyway right here. See there, it matches up with it. I'm going to turn the bottom so it matches it. Close enough that matches it. There you go. It took a little while, but it got it lined up there. All right, now I'm going to get some nuts and washers and put that on there.
Well, I have to say she's definitely running a lot better. I went for a ride around the block and she's dumping black smoke like crazy whenever I'm giving it gas, but I was actually able to make it the third gear. So we're getting forward. We're moving somewhere in some direction. So that little adjuster in there in the pump, I'm going to take that back to the middle. And right now, so I'm going to take that back to the middle setting instead of the full fuel advance or whatever. So at least I know that that's working somehow or whatever. So I'm going to take it back to the middle right now. Well, she's still slow as heck, but I'm going to give a few more tricks and got the pump back to the middle and running smooth. It goes pretty good. It still doesn't have much power, but we'll still give her a try and uh, we'll try some more tricks. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions, let me hear it down in the comments below. If not, I'll catch you later and be good.